good morning in this class we are going to discuss about the keynesian theory of income and employment first of all we should know how to restore the equilibrium point being economics graduates you all know that how to restore the equilibrium point by that is here equating the two market forces one is demand and other one is supply by that we can restore the equilibrium point the same thing we are going to apply in the keynesian theory of income and employment only by the intersection of aggregate demand and aggregate supply we can restore the equilibrium point so this equilibrium how do we restore the equilibrium point uh, this can be explained with the help of diagram see this diagram what are the two market interactive forces one is aggregate demand and other one is aggregate supply by equating the two forces e is the point of equilibrium if we extend the equilibrium point up to the x axis means we can measure the employment here we are going to discuss about what is meant by aggregate demand and what is meant by aggregate supply aggregate demand in the sense uh, the entrepreneurs or industrialists they want to appoint the laborers they will provide the employment opportunities after getting the employment opportunities income will be generated the income will be spent on what consumption of goods and services this is called as what aggregate demand how do we that is here determine the aggregate supply the entrepreneurs uh, with the help of employees they have produce certain level of output by selling the output they can get the receipt or they can get the revenue so this is called as what aggregate supply so by restoring the aggregate demand and aggregate supply we can that is here restore the equilibrium point next one uh, suppose here we all know about that uh, less than full employment and full employment less than full employment in the sense uh, uh, let us uh, discuss in the economy 100 laborers are there in the sense only 75 laborers are absorbed by the company or a factory uh, this is called as what less than full employment because uh, we have a excess number that is 25 so by extending the uh, number from 75 to 100 means we can attain the that is stage of what full employment that can be explained with the help of one diagram mm. in this diagram x axis measures real national income y axis measures aggregate supply and aggregate demand c plus i that is consumption income curve next one c plus i plus g consumption income and government expenditure o s is the supply curve how do we restore the equilibrium point already i told you by equating the two market interactive forces demand and supply we can restore the equilibrium point so e1 is the point of equilibrium o y1 is the equilibrium level of income next one already i told you what is meant by less than that is full employment and full employment so 25 laborers will be excess in the economy no that uh, excess number will be absorbed by the entrepreneurs or industrialists in the sense the extra 25 employees are getting employment opportunities now the equilibrium point is extended from o y1 to o y2 that is the national level uh, uh, the national income increases from o y1 to o y2 by introducing the government that is expenditure we can expand our level of national income from o y1 to o y2 this stage is known as what full employment this is clearly explained by the keynes when he explains the theory of income and employment thank you for patient listening so for what you have observed about the keynesian theory of income and employment